Hi Virgo, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and um, I hope you enjoyed yesterday the live sessions I certainly did for the ones that turned up thank you very much for your support it was uh, fantastic it might have uh, although it is a pity for some people that weren't there because obviously they had to work because it was Friday and um, uh, I did enjoy the uh, interacting with all my cyber angels and some of the old ones came back as well that was magic so it was nice to see some familiar names uh, look I can't say faces except for the image O's but some are not having haven't got a picture but it was great fun if you're new welcome and welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and the cyber family if you would like to become a cyber angel like all my other viewers then join us uh, in the live sessions the tea room and that is on Monday Wednesday and Friday and sometimes spontaneously um, as there are exciting things happening on the the channel like the series of the Dutch witch and what's the, what do witches do and what's the difference between a homeopathist or a pagan and a witch well, we had a very exciting um, episode this week because she, uh, Wendy, showed us uh, a, a way of uh, meditation, the way the witches do it, and she did a healing session. So that was fantastic. And I really do enjoy the information that Wendy shares with us and the deck that we uh, use uh, to review and converse about and that is the deck uh, which is Oracle so go and have a look at the series if I have uh, 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 stirred your in curiosity and uh, this week I'm using the Archangel Power deck from Diana Virtue and uh, um, what's his name Valentine, Rally Valentine, and they're awesome cards. My daughter gave these to me. There, I've just made it an, a review on this, although they're old and battered. I do appreciate all my beautiful cards, and I'm also using the Titanium uh, Lenormand and the Romance and the Answer of the Angels and the color card from Ina Seagull and from uh, Paola Burberry. I'm using the uh, astrolog uh, zodiac cards and planets the, these are absolutely amazing and this is you Virgo this is your card and look how beautiful she looks okay and if you're new please subscribe and hit that bell and hit it on all otherwise you will not be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up and my cyber angels thank you very much for coming back and supporting uh, the channel uh, this is also your channel because without you and the cards it would just be me and boring <laughs> and I do enjoy interacting like I said and I love doing the readings for you so I hope they resonate with you remember the general if it doesn't then um, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and you can also find more information in the corner here a circle with an eye and you can click on that and it will take you to the website okay let's get started with your reading Virgo and you've got the two of Raphael so that is water that is cups so the two of cups you might be meeting your soulmate look at these two beautiful people you're in emotional balance two is also partnering and also balancing between heart and soul or heart and mind um, but it is also um, quite unique because you might find somebody that has the same uh, sense of emotions as you have and you can understand these people just like that it's like a soulmate two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful Kindred spirits, like I said, a soulmate. Don't give up on those you love. I know we are in a lockdown and some of us live very small and that's why everybody that is at home um, can work on your nerves. But don't give up on them. 
because you've got the anchor and that's very significant for me too look at this you've got the cross so have faith you've got the ring right the ring like partnership getting married so that means an unending love and you've got the anchor um, and that reminds me of the um, and you've got it looks like an ank um, so that means good luck and protection from evil the anchor also means steadfastness you've put your anchor down where you are and you feel safe you're coming home to a safe haven or you are in a safe haven and you're happy and luck is on your side and if you've got a question then the anchor also means yes that is on Monday as this reading is from the 20th to the 27th of April I forgot to say that and you've got the 6th of Michael so you might be moving in together as you've coming home to a safe haven or you have moved in together uh, during this time and I think it will be permanent because you're leaving rough waters behind you and you're going to calmer waters um, I know you can't travel at the moment most probably but this card also indicates moving home or going on holiday you might be crossing water okay um, it's the light at the end of the tunnel breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans relocation or travel so there is light at the end of the tunnel like I said you're moving away from rough waters to calmer waters and this could be with regarding to family issues or as the tree is also um, a family tree it represents the family tree firmly rooted you are now safe you're in a safe place safe haven and you're you you are sprouting roots you you have rooted your health might be an issue either good you might have had a ba bad health and you're moving towards good health you need space though you need space so you might be moving to a bigger house okay there is also money coming in perhaps you've got concerns about money but the tree is green and that means that reminds me of space healing the heart chakra uh, money so there will be uh, okay you are moving away from hard times perhaps financially it's going to get better on Friday you have the page of coins the page of Ariel and look she's in a library so you might be learning something or you've just finished a study and you've got your degree and the page always brings news and the night but the page of Ariel also represents Capricorn well since this is Virgo this is also um, an earth sign uh, Virgo so your partner might be a Capricorn or you might be meeting a Capricorn or a Capricorn could be um, bringing you news although it represents Capricorn don't exclude um, uh, Virgo or Taurus Virgo this could be you um, that is also giving somebody else news for example if you have passed your exam or if you've got a job because um, Pentacles means material means growing means something physical so it could be a job okay you might be working in a library you might start working in an office something with wisdom knowledge or this also reminds me of the old-fashioned courts so it could be in a judicial situation you need knowledge and you've got the knowledge you've passed your exam and you might be passing on news that you've passed your exam wow or oh, that you've got a job an excellent opportunity will be offered to you scholarships or the pursuit of education time to get to work well 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 I didn't realize but you've got the book and that's exactly what the book means the book means you might start a new study or further your advancement in knowledge but there are also secrets or things that you don't know 
this could be with a Virg, uh, a Capricorn but this could also be with a Gemini because you've got the lovers or a Leo as you've got the Sun but I'll get to that in a minute I'm just looking for the people so the lovers represent a Gemini but don't exclude other air signs but the lovers as you know usually stand for Gemini like I said soulmates at the beginning you have found your soulmate and you might be getting married because shooting roots you might want to start a family uh, moving away from difficult uh, difficulties to new beginnings that is the six of swords the six of Michael you've found your spot okay so you've got Archangel Raphael and Raphael is the angel with regards to happiness and families and children make choices from the heart deeply emotional commitments the power of love Wow and what did I say earlier in the reading uh, you might be um, I started the reading off like uh, you 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 might be feeling on top of each other and it's not very good for your health you might be you need room you need space so perhaps you might be moving from an apartment to a house now that you have passed your qualifications or you've got your promotion and that is the news that the page of Ariel might be bringing because it was talking on an offer perhaps you might want to advance because the tower in Lenamon means ambition but don't um, forget the people around you that support you through this period but you might be also moving from an apartment or a flat, a flat to a house because you might be expending uh, the family you might be getting hitched this is uh, also what the anchor is meaning like I said the ring the cross have faith um, uh, pitching yourself uh, because I think always have to think of the charm hope love and faith that's the heart the cross uh, the heart the cross and the anchor and also the anchor means coming home and you've got and I said Leo well that's because the Sun you have the Sun Archangel Uriel and he's the grounding angel the red um, chakra that's grounding roots the root chakra okay so you might be meeting a Leo or you are definitely in the spotlight Virgo and something is also being illuminated so um, you need more information like I said there might be secrets there might be knowledge uh, um, you might be short of knowledge you might need to advance your uh, study or your knowledge because you are the library that's what I'm saying perhaps you will get a job an apprenticeship offered in an institution or a municipality okay um, that you need more information with regards to that um, okay uh, if uh, I just forgot you might this card also means moving home or going on holiday the same as the six of swords moving home or going on holiday you're moving something is shifting for you big time okay you might be hearing of a birth this could be of a child or this could be of a job or a project again news of a new beginning okay and now if uh, this card also means fertility so if you don't want to get pregnant then uh, take precautions because underneath this card you've got the ten of Raphael that's the uh, ten of cups happy families okay a happy a fulfillment of emotions so you might find out you're pregnant or you might be finding out your uh, one of your children is getting is, is extending the family so that's why you need a new home if you are too mature uh, to have children you might become a grandmother or a grandfather and you've also got the lily the lily means luck in business and you might be seeking advice 
uh, from a professional or a father figure. This could also be uh, seeking advice from a lawyer or a, a real estate agent or uh, a doctor. If it is to, to do with pregnancy, doctor. That could be advice from a professional. But luck is on your side at work and in business. Okay, let uh, your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. That is the romance card for you, Virgo. And you've got emerald. I know it says it in Dutch, smaracht. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love the way it's written. I love the letters. Calm your mind, body and soul. Calm your mind, body and soul. And you've got three. And I'm getting to hear for the first time, or perhaps the second time that I'm reading cards in 45 years or more, three, the Holy Trinity. Usually three means creativity, but I'm getting to hear um, the Holy Trinity and um, uh, emerald is usually stone and not water, and this is like a drop of water. Some seas are green. So yes, emotions might be running high. Um, with happiness uh, because you're moving on to better times choose a new direction well 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 it's all to awards a new beginning or improvement enhancement of wisdom knowledge new study new job or expending the family ah I think it could you know it, you had the, this birth, this birth doesn't have to be of a child, like I said, it can also be ideas, it can be a project, a job, and you've got the happy families, so that family might be extended, if you are moving away from an apartment and you're going into a house, you might be getting a dog or a cat, that is also extending the family. I know it's a general reading, but I'm trying to read for everybody as I read for people all over the world. So, to recap it, you've got the Page of Pentacle, which is Capricorn. Then you've got a Gemini that is quite prominent. In, in these are, are people that are signs aren't that are, might have an, a, a meaning towards you or resonate with you. And the Leo. So, awesome. So, Virgo, um, don't forget the people around you, okay? It's okay to be ambitious, um, but before you move on, then uh, you must, like with the page of uh, Ariel Pentacles, it's an, there will be an um, excellent opportunity most probably offered towards you, or you might get a pre apprentice, but before you move on, Please make sure uh, it's all right to be ambitious. Make sure that it is sound advice and there is no snake. Although there is no snake because it's a really positive reading, um, uh, don't worry. Rest your mind, body, and soul. So t get more advice. Okay, there are things f that are illuminated. That means there is something that you don't know, but it is. Um, the spotlight is on it something that you don't know so you have to gather more knowledge before you move on so if you're signing contracts for a house for example or for a job then read the small print and get it checked out by a professional okay Virgo I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care stay safe and please like and share ciao ciao